So on saying that now, I'm just gonna, I haven't done a grolican video in a good while and I have my Paddy Smith claw knife back from Paddy after being reprofiled. It's my reach for knife, the little Paddy Smith claw. And I'm just gonna show you how efficient it is. Um, we have quite a large female here and uh, I'm gonna just perform uh, the grolic on it and uh, get it done and then we'll get it back uh, to the car. So the first thing we do, of course, lift the leg and we make, we make a small cut. Already you can see the blood coming out. And already I've noticed abnormalities. Two abnormalities already, which has already given me quite a concern. With another one there. Now, when this happens and you come across abnormalities like this, it's a major concern. So that's why we wear gloves. So I'm gonna continue and just look inside the carcass and see what's happening. But uh, two abnormalities on the neck. And already we have abnormalities. We have nodules around the stomach. We have nodules there and we have lesions on the neck. Uh, there's no need to go any further because I know what's the story here. It's more than likely bovine TB and it's not good, not good at all. Uh, I know the dog was pulling out with this deer, which is not good. So if I take out the lungs, I know what's gonna be happening inside. Can already see. I don't even have to go far inside. You can see where his lung shot, but already hard lesions at the base of the lung. There's no need to go any further. Um, I have plastic bags in the back of the van, so we'll go down and we'll bag this and we'll bring it to the rendering plant and we'll cut the morning short. Um, I suppose in one way it gets to show you what an infected carcass is like, but it just leaves us busy for the morning and we have to call off the hunting. As I said, nodules around the stomach, lesions on the lungs, and large, large lesions. There on the neck. And if, if I opened the submaxillary glands, just to show you, Already, look, I'm not going to sever them. Look, lumps on the submaxillary glands and hard at the back. So, yeah, a suspected case of TB, but more than likely it is bovine TB and uh, the carcass needs to go to the rendering plant along with the offal. So we'll deal with that now and I hope you find that interesting. <laughs> 